Hello, my name is Amanda Gerhardt and welcome. Today's class, we're gonna be working on breath work and then going into a vinyasa flow. I really like this class because it's like a perfect balance of you know, restoring your nervous system, settling it down with some breath work, and then we get to get in some mindful movement after. So we will be working on our mats. And also, if you have a pillow or a yoga block, go ahead and grab one of those just to sit on in the beginning of class for the breath work. You can also obviously sit on the ground or on the yoga mat too. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to, if you have your yoga block or your pillow, go ahead and take a seat on top or find a comfortable position on your yoga mat and find your legs to be crossed in Sukhasana. And start to lift up nice and tall out of the spine and through the crown of the head. And place your hands on either side of the legs and start to notice your breath flowing in and out through your nose. And on your next exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Inhale, send your right ear to right shoulder. Maybe flutter the eyes closed here. And on your next breath, send your chin to the sky, looking up. And exhale, dropping the left ear to left shoulder. And breathing, breathing the chin back to the chest. Inhale to return back up with the head and start to breathe in through the nose, super slowly, super drawn out, filling up the chest with air. And pause at the top, and exhale, let it go. Another breath in through the nose, drawing the breath along the back of the throat, Imagining filling up the lower abdomen with air as well. And then the chest with air. Pause. And let it out. <sighs> Soften the shoulders. Taking another breath in through the nose, filling up the low abdomen and belly area with air. Filling up the chest as much as you can. And take one more sip of breath at the top. Pause. And exhale, let it out through the mouth. Take another slow breath in. <clears throat> Pausing at the top and exhale, let it out. Continuing with this breathing at your own time. And today we're going to be working with a mantra, a short positive sentence that comes to your mind easily. Maybe it starts with, I am. An example of the mantra could be, I am complete. I am compassionate. Maybe I am whole. Whatever that mantra is you choose for today. And whatever mantra comes to your mind, repeat the mantra three times silently in your head. And continuing your breathing, 
nice and easy. Maybe flutter the eyes closed. Observing the chest filling up and releasing the oxygen. Breathing in, filling the chest all the way up with air. Pause at the top and exhale. Send that breath to any part of the body that's holding tension. Let go, soften the tension. Settling in with the body and the mind. Start to open the eyes if you have them closed. And start to remove the pillow or the block that you're sitting on, if you have one. And begin to place your hands down on the mat and tuck the knees underneath the hips and find your tabletop pose here. We're gonna begin by taking some cat and cows. So we inhale, scooping the heart forward, extending through the back, arching. And exhale, chin to chest, contract, drawing the abdominals up. Inhale, extend, arch reaching through the crown of the head and exhale chin to chest inhale reach and arch through that back shoulders drawing down the back and exhale contract through the core chin to chest and return back to tabletop Stepping our right toes back, we're gonna shift slightly back in the toes just for a nice calf stretch here. Elongating and stretching the right leg. And on your inhale, reach the right leg up to the hip, in line with the hip. And we slide our left fingertips down towards the mat and up in line with the shoulder for bird dog. Think of drawing your rib cage flat down towards your pelvis or hips to stabilize the core. Focus on a certain point on the floor or mat. Inhale and exhale, lower both knee and hand back down to the mat. Take another round of cat and cows. Inhale, arch. Exhale, contract chin to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. One more, inhale, pushing away. And exhale, contract. Returning back to tabletop, extend the left toes back, tucking them and shifting our weight back into the heel, stretching out the back side of the leg and the calf. And bring your shoulders back on top of the wrist. Inhale, lift the left leg up in line with the hip. Now firming that rib cage down, drawing the abdominals in. Both hips are pointing down to the mat. Slide the right fingertips up in line with the shoulder. Gaze down to the mat. Drawing that focus within. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower hand and knee back down. Good, start to tuck the toes. We shift our weight back into down dog. And start to bend through those knees, gazing towards your hands. Maybe pedal out both legs, bending through both knees. Maybe shifting our weight from the right and the left side getting a little stretch in the hips, waking up the legs. 
creating some movement. And go ahead and start to step the toes into your hands. Find forward fold. You can clasp your hands to both elbows. Allow the head to drop and relax. Maybe shaking it yes and no. Taking deep breaths here. Release the grip with the hands and we inhale halfway lift. Hands find the shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Find Tadasana, hands meet at heart center. Sweep the arms up and exhale, forward fold. Bending through those knees. We step back, find high plank. Shift our weight slightly forward, an option to come down to the knees as we lower slowly for Chaturanga, elbows by our side. Inhale, halfway lift just with the upper back for Cobra, pressing our palms down into the mat, shining the heart forward. And exhale back down to the mat. Tuck your toes, shift your weight back into the heels, find downward facing dog. Take a big bend in the legs, bringing both feet together. Gaze towards your fingertips, start to walk or hop the feet forward towards your hands, find forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, bend through the knees, sweep the fingertips down to the mat, forward and up, bend through those legs, find Ukatasana chair pose. Sending our hips all the way back, lifting through the crown of the head, shoulders drop down. And trying to aim your knees on top of the ankles, so sitting further back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Step the feet back into downward facing dog. And exhale, float the shoulders over the wrist. Exhale, lower down to chaturanga. Option to drop the knees. Untuck the toes, press up to either cobra or all the way through the elbows for upward facing dog. Exhale, back down to the mat. Tuck the toes, shift the weight back into down dog. And bring both feet together to meet. On your next inhale, sweep the right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw the right knee into nose, placing the foot down on the mat. Reaching the fingertips forward and up, we find high lunge. High crescent lunge, reaching the fingers up to the sky. Right knee is stacked on top of the right ankle, firming through that back left leg. Inhale to reach. Exhale, bring the hands back down to frame the foot. Step back into downward dog. Take a nice bend through the knees here. Maybe rise up on the toes and plant the heels back down on the mat. Inhale, sweep the left leg up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Lower the foot down, sweep the fingertips forward and up to the sky, raising up to crescent lunge. Maybe look up towards the hands. Inhale here, exhale, melt the hands back down to the mat. Step back into downward dog. Start to roll the spine up and over where the shoulders find themselves on top of the wrist, high plank. Exhale, lowering down to chaturanga slowly. Untuck the toes, pressing up to cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, lowering back down to the mat. 
Tuck the toes. Shift the weight back into down dog. Good. Either step or hop the feet into the hands. We find forward fold. Release the head and neck. Take deep belly breaths here in through the nose and out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms down, forward, and up to the sky, bending through those legs, Utkatasana chair pose. Trying to keep the knees over the ankles, shoulders drawing down the back. And maybe take the gaze of the eyes up. We inhale to reach, lift up, extend through the legs, hands meet at heart center for Tadasana. Exhale. Next, we're going to keep our hands at heart center. Start to send the hips back for Ukatasana chair pose once more. And peel the right toes up off the mat and cross the right leg over the left, finding our eagle variation, focusing the eyes. Maybe wrap the right toes around the low calf. And when you have the legs established, wrap the right arm underneath the left, clasp the fingertips in towards the face for full eagle. Another option is to clasp the hands on top of the shoulders for a bear hug. Focus the eyes. Where is the breath? And where is the mind? Bring it back to your breathing and your body. Inhale, extend through that left leg. Bring the right leg up and start to extend the, left, the right leg back, tipping the chest forward, finding our warrior three. Both hips point down to the mat, focusing on a point on the mat. Inhale and exhale, bend through the left leg to step the right toes back to find a high lunge. Good. Lift up with those eagle arms or bear arms. And exhale, release the arms, find a fold over the left leg and step back into downward dog. Float the shoulders on top of the wrist. High plank. Exhale, lower down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, shoulders drop down. And exhale, forward fold, over. <laughs> exhale, send the heels back. Find downward dog. Hop or step the feet into the hands, find forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep arms up to the sky, to dasana and meet at heart center with the hands. We're gonna send our hips back into Utkatasana chair pose. Focus the eyes already as we peel the left toes off the mat, lifting the leg up and over the right, crossing it for eagle. Maybe the left toes hook around the right calf. And when you're ready, slide the left arm underneath the right, find the eagle arms, or wrapping the hands on top of the shoulders. Think of lifting up through the spine and sending your hips back. On your inhale, extend through the right leg, lift the left leg and extend that left leg back, tipping the chest forward to find warrior three. Drawing the abdominals in, focusing on the mat, squaring off both hips to the mat. Soften through the right knee to drop the left toes down to the floor 
and press up into a high crescent variation. Maybe lift the chest to the sky. Inhale. And exhale, release the arms, floating them back down to the mat. And step the right leg back into downward dog. And next we're gonna hop or step the hands into, or hop or step the feet into the hands. We inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Hands meet at heart center. Tadasana. Walk both toes to the outer edges of your mat. So slightly turned out. And we're gonna lift up before we start to bend through the knees and drop down into Malasana slowly. If you have a yoga block or a pillow, you can absolutely place the yoga block or pillow underneath your sit bones to make Malasana a little more comfortable. And we're gonna lift up here, pressing our elbows into your knees. Inhale, reach both arms away from one another, right arm to the sky. Exhale, draw the hands towards the back, finding the fingertips in a bind, and open up through that right shoulder, gazes up to the sky. On your next breath, release the arms and return the hands back to heart center. Inhale, reach the left arm up to the sky, right arm in opposition. Exhale, fold the arms behind us, reaching the fingertips for one another. Looking up towards the left. And release that grip of the hands. Arms float back in a diagonal and return to heart center. Start to place your hands onto the mat, removing your blocks or pillow if needed, and come and find a seated position. And we're gonna walk those toes slightly forward and together. So legs are completely together here, and we grab hold of the back of the legs as we shift up and back diagonally with our torso. We're gonna lift our toes off the ground here, maybe even to the knee level to find Navasana, boat pose. Breathe in here. Exhale, draw the core in towards the spine. Breathe in, maybe let go of the hands. On your next breath, maybe extend the right leg and the left playing around with the focus and the balance. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Maybe extending both legs. Returning to where we started. Grab hold the back of the legs and lower the toes slowly down to the mat. Great, we're gonna start to roll all the way down now. You can grab hold of the back of the legs and slowly roll all the way down to the mat. Shoulders and head find the floor last. Start to walk your heels in towards your glutes, making sure your feet are hip distance apart. And we're gonna begin to press the weight into our heels as we curl the pelvis up, lifting the hips up to the sky, pressing firmly into the heels, palms of the hands are on the mat. And try to press up even further with those hip bones. Inhale here, and exhale, lowering back down. Another breath in to lift the hips up to the sky. Exhale, hold. Inhale, reach the hips up higher. And exhale, lower them down to the mat. One more bridge pose. We inhale, lift the hips up to the sky. Exhale, hold. Inhale, reach them further. 
And exhale, lowering back down to the mat. Good, we have an option to go into bridge one more time. Or another option to take the hands, placing them next to our shoulders and ear and lift up for wheel pose. So placing our hands next to our shoulders and ears, we're gonna to begin to press into the hands and the heels at the same time, lifting your hips and gazing towards the ground for full wheel. Maybe it's just for a moment and engage through the back of the legs and exhale, lowering slowly and controlled back down. Excellent job. Bring the knees into the chest. Give your legs a hug. And shift those knees from side to side gently. Start to open the knees slightly. Bring the arms inside of the legs and grab hold of the big toe with the peace fingers, the first two fingers. And start to slightly widen the feet. Find happy baby. So breathing in to this posture, allowing the hips to open. Breathe in and exhale, send your breath to your hips. And go ahead and release the grip of the toes. Bring the knees back into the chest. Take a cactus of both arms, bending through the elbows, and place the elbows in line with the shoulders on the floor. We're going to inhale, lift the legs up, and exhale, drop them over towards the right. And allow your left shoulder to stay on the mat. Turn your gaze towards the left arm. Maybe close the eyes here for this supine twist. Inhale, return the legs back up to center. Lift up and exhale them over to the left and turn your gaze towards the right elbow. And once again, maybe close the eyes, allowing that right shoulder to reach towards the mat. Take a breath in and return the knees back to the center. We're gonna next slide the toes down onto the mat and slide the right and left leg slightly wider than the hips, stretched out on the mat. And reach the arms long by your side, flipping the palms up to the sky if you like. And allow the body to feel heavy. Allow the muscles in the forehead to relax. All the muscles in the face to relax. Take a nice breath in through the nose, filling up the belly and chest with air. And exhale, let it out, let it go. Take a few more breaths at your own pace, your own time. And now remember the mantra that you chose at the beginning of our practice today. And repeat that mantra three times in your head, I am. Good. 
You can stay in this Shavasana as long as you like. Or you can start to curl over to one side that suits you. Maybe keeping your eyes closed. And start to slowly make your way up to a seated position and cross both legs. Take a nice breath in through the nose, filling up with air. And exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky, looking up to the sky. And exhale, bring the hands through heart center. Namaste. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that breath work and vinyasa flow. If you did like it, hit the like button or leave a comment down below. And if you're not already, please hit the subscribe button for new videos every week, every Tuesday.